Hey, what's up guys, Metal 571 here, and this is the ZMF Auteur. This is a $1,599, 300 ohm, 98 decibels per milliwatt sensitivity, Ambrosia Maple Wood Biocellulose Dynamic Open Back Full Size Headphone. Try saying that 10 times fast, I dare you. <laughs> this is a review unit sent to me by ZMF Headphones. Uh, so thank you, Zach. That's a disclaimer, so you know where this thing came from. I don't own it. It's not. Doesn't belong to a random viewer, which I get a lot of headphones from, and I'm happy that the viewers are willing to send them because I depend on those. But this one's from ZMF, and I'm going to be comparing it against the ZMF Elis. I've reviewed this headphone previously. In fact, I think that was the last review, and that was compared mainly against my Odyssey LCD2, which is up back here behind my head. And this headphone, I'm going to compare against the ELS. Uh, oh, Tur versus the ELS now. So let's talk about the bass. How's the bass on this headphone compare? This one has slightly better detail and slightly better slam than the ELS. There's a little bit less of a mid bass hump around, you know, 100 or 200 hertz. Um, and there's a little bit better extension as well. This headphone is quite good in the bass, and it's probably the most noticeable difference between this and the ELS because this has got the biocellulose driver that's also in the icon and the ELS is using the TPE driver uh, from the Atticus which I own a headphone of that'll be another video but so that is what kind of is the limiting factor I think for the bass and the bass quality on the icon and this headphone the open back icon essentially is the auteur are significantly noticeably better here in terms of dynamics is the big one which is, you know, how drums hit and bass drums kick. Uh, and there's a little bit better detail as well, multiple complex bass lines forming together. You can hear more distinctly here. So the bass is the biggest difference, and I'm happy about that because it is great. I always love the way the biocellulose driver that Zach has sounds in the bass. Now the mid-range, here's where I'm going to mention I'm going to compare the stock pads with these two headphones. This one's wearing the Auteur perforated lambskin pads, the stock ones, and this is wearing its stock Eolus lambskin perforated pads. Um, I made a mistake in the last review saying these are just universe lambskin perforated, they're not. Eolus has its own stock pads as well, just like Auteur does. The Auteur pads has an, have an alternate, which is the Icon perforated pads. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I'm just gonna compare the stock pads sound of both of these headphones here going forward. So the mid-range of the Auteur is more forward, around 4 kilohertz to my ears. And um, this is going to sound pretty good for people who like the Sennheisers, the 6X0 series, like the 6XX, 650, 600, that kind of thing. They have a bit forward uh, upper mid-range, and so does this, more so than the Eolus does, which is a little bit closer to sounding like an LCD2, but with a better tuning. So this headphone is a little forward, a little bit more aggressive, but I think that it's slightly better resolution. It's just a little bit better resolution. It's not crazy. I really had to have these headphones side by side to particularly pick out whether the mid-range was really better in uh, detail regardless of the frequency response. But I think this one was slightly more liquid sounding. Um, usually use electric guitar distortion to decide that, honestly. And uh, this came out on top by just a hair. So even though I like the Eolus's upper mid-range tuning, natural frequency response better, this headphone does have a little bit more capability. And that story kind of continues on into the treble, where the Auteur, again, is brighter than the Eolus. It's got a little bit more, it's got a little bit of forwardness at 6K like the Eolus, but it's also more treble up top, it's around 10K, and, and um, again, this one is more resolving in the highs, actually after I gave it some time and some headband bending, which I'll get to talking about in a couple of minutes here. And um, so again, it's more capable. This one's a little bit more obvious um, than the treble uh, being more capable. The Elis is not as, not nearly as clean, but again, I prefer the Elis's stock pads tuning because it's not quite as bright as the Elis, but the Elis is more, I'm sorry, <laughs> it has the Auteur, the Auteur is more capable. And especially in the air region above 10 kilohertz, it's really, really nice sounding headphone if you get the clamp force right with the Auteur pads in particular. I think it's great. Now, 
with the pads, the difference, uh, so the difference between the auteur pads and the icon pads is difficult to measure. They're so close that apparently when I tried to do this on my mini DSP ears, I have a, it's a simple, uh, relatively affordable measurement system, not the most accurate, but I really couldn't get a good measurement that showed you the difference with a frequency response chart between the auteur pads and the icon pads. Now the icon pads, really the only difference is the, the width of the opening is a little bit smaller in the icon pads than the auteur pads. And the auteur pads, as a result, have a slightly brighter tone, but they also open up the air above 10K better. And so I, I actually ended up preferring the auteur pads with a little bit of EQ instead of putting the icon pads on to kill some of that treble up top. I think it did a little too much, which brought the upper mids around 4K. was was almost unaffected, so it was still pretty forward in the upper mids there. So it's a trade-off. If you want to use, excuse me, if you want to use EQ, then the auteur pads actually, I think, are better, at least for me. But the icon pads will tune down the treble a little bit more towards uh, the level of the ELS without needing any EQ. So it's up to you. You can definitely experiment. Those are the typical alternate pads there. Now the soundstage, this is another pretty noticeable difference. The auteur soundstage is definitely more capable than the ELS. The ELS was a little bit disappointing. This was probably the most disappointing part about the ELS was the soundstage. It's not that wide. It's only a little bit wider, I think, than a Sennheiser uh, 6X0 series, whereas the auteur soundstage is fairly wide and has quite decent imaging for the price, as you know a lot of headphones do. But interestingly, the LCD2 that I have back there behind my head it has the stage width advantage still over the over the auteur, at least from my demoing. But the LCD2 has got a little bit different imaging. It's got a different imaging presentation. It seems to spread images out more, and some of the, stuff of the sound comes sounds like it's coming from behind you. So it's a difference in, in depth um, with its uh, presentation of where instruments are within its sound stage. Whereas the auteur sounds more realistic. It sounds more like you're actually in a room, not a huge room, but a large-ish room compared to the Eolus. So it's, I think it's actually a matter of preference. The LCD2 is a little exaggerated and the imaging is not nearly as, I guess, I guess not nearly as realistic sounding as the Auteur. So some people will probably prefer this. Both are good. I prefer the LCD2, but that's because I listen to a lot of like electronic music and metal and whatever. And people who are listening to really serious audiophile music, <laughs> am I gonna trademark that? Um, like jazz and classical and whatever, will probably want this headphone instead for sure. Um, so stuff that's not related to the sound, I promise I'm going to try to keep this short. <laughs> the Otter is noticeably heavier than the Eolus, at least this one is with this wood, which is the stock wood compared to the stock wood on the Eolus. So that may bother you a little bit. Um, thankfully, there is a magnesium chassis option available for the Auteur if you get the limited edition wood, which also might be lighter than this stock wood. I'm not sure. It depends on which limited wood is being offered. So there's some options there. Um, unlike most headphones I review, this one does seem to uh, improve with burn-in, apparently. I, didn't, I can't say I'd noticed anything that was huge um, in the difference. Uh, with this headphone in terms of burn-in, but it's it's something that I have to note here because Zach does recommend 150 hours of running this thing through heavy bass of some kind, like dubstep or whatever, loudly. And uh, so I have to mention that. I don't think I noticed anything burn-in-wise that was like huge, amazing changes or whatever over time, but interestingly, just like the Icon I reviewed, which uses the same driver, I felt like Toward the, toward the later stages of listening to this headphone before shooting this review, it sounded like it, it had grown on me over time more than uh, some headphones. So maybe there was something to do with that. I don't know. Um, but regardless of burn-in, I think that uh, the ear cup positioning um, changes the sound quite a bit. So you want to move it around your head, take a look at you know how the sound, take a look at the sound. Yes, totally, Metal 5.7. So look directly at it. Now, um, move it around your head and um, figure out what position sounds best because it does change quite a bit with positioning and also with clamp force. And I actually reduced the clamp force at one point. I remember being like, whoa, there's all the air that I was looking for above 10K improved a lot. So you may want to adjust the clamp force. It is fine to bend the headband actually. 
Um, it really doesn't damage anything. It takes quite a bit of force, but apparently it doesn't break anything. Zach has a video on how to bend the headband on these models, so you can probably find it on CMF Headphones YouTube. Um, and because so many people have asked me to do this, and I actually remembered, I will put on this headphone for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like. So that is the auteur on my head. <laughs> I should probably be doing that with every headphone, but there you go. But it's worth moving it around and getting the optimum position for sure. So, what does that bring me to say in the conclusion for this video? This is the best biocellulose open back dynamic headphone you can buy at the moment. Pretty much. And uh, so as a result of that, I would buy it with confidence. If you guys think of a better biocell open back that I somehow forgot about, leave a comment and I'm sure I'll be proven wrong by somebody. <laughs> because that's how YouTube works. Um, but in my opinion, this is an excellent, excellent headphone. It is kind of on the pricey side, as I tend to think about most ZMF headphones as, but you have to consider that there's a lifetime warranty on the essential components like the driver to the original owner. Uh, Zach is an immensely helpful guy. He'll try to recommend the right model exactly to fit your taste. He's very good, very responsive at uh, emails. And uh, you can customize the headphone many ways, however you like, and they are made with love by hand. So <laughs> it's definitely um, not a cheap thing to produce for the company. So you have to keep that in mind. And they're not a huge company, although hopefully they do become a huge company so they can start mass producing headphones and bring the prices down further. That's my hope for them for the future. But all that considered, I don't think the price is out of the realm of possibility. Uh, if you want to spend that much on a headphone, you can definitely do much worse with the money. Now, why am I not buying this headphone? And that's actually because the LC2 does more, as I kind of said in the soundstage section, kind of caters to my taste better. It starts warmer, uh, just like the Eolus starts warmer, but it's got great planar uh, bass extension that the Eolus doesn't have. And the auteur's base is excellent. In fact, the auteur's base is like the least of my concerns of buying this headphone for myself. It's really that the mids are more aggressive than I'd like. And none of the pads here that I tried seem to reduce that to the point where I was starting with a warmer uh, tone that I would either increase the mids on. So, or, you know, just finding the right pad. And I just didn't really get there. Now, if you EQ it down a little bit, and you'll find that in my profile, I actually preferred the auteur pads, the brighter pads, interestingly, because they don't kill the air um, up top. I preferred EQing those rather than switching to the icon pads, and that was very, very good. But I don't think it's enough to switch me away from the LCD2 for the reasons I mentioned with the bass still. So, and, and that's mainly because I'm super mid-range and treble sensitive compared to a lot of people, so... This is like awesome for many of you guys, especially like those people listening to serious audiophile music, like I said. <laughs> but what my ultimate wish is actually is that a headphone existed with the Elis's mid range and treble tuning, but the Auteur's bass. And actually, that's kind of what the LCD2 is closer to. It doesn't have quite the same timbre that these dynamic headphones do, quite as realistic sounding, um, and doesn't have quite as good a natural frequency response. But it does what I need and uh, that's my ultimate wish and I guess we'll find out soon uh, I don't have the Verite yet but that is on my review list and I should be getting one of those uh, soon enough so we'll see if that fits the bill if these two uh, all their strengths could be combined into the ultimate ZMF headphone we will find out and I'm pretty excited too as of this review uh, these, the Verite C was announced as well so I'm pretty excited about that um, and if you guys want to see me review the ZMF Atticus that I bought, the crazy one that's painted purple. Yes, I'm serious. Uh, if you haven't already seen it on Twitter, uh, let me know about that as well, and I'll do a owner's perspective video on that. So until next time, guys, hope this helps you make a decision on the beautiful wood headphone, the ZMF Auteur. I think it's excellent. Take care.